We're just setting up another weapon of mass destruction. Color Texas. You join a uh, MFC 990 CW club blog. And we upload all this information onto our blog for brother users. Other brothers. You think of that? Whatever you would think we do here, we can put probably in movies up. I mean, there's uh, all the security we're going through now, you know, I'll set it all up. It's bought and paid for, right? Amazing. <laughs> and it's working, babe. Yeah. So, while we're doing that, I'll talk a little about this. This is the, um, the drawing that we sent down to uh, my buddies down in uh, Melbourne who uh, helped me before when we was building the big magnetic motor. So I told them we're doing this one here and it's going to be free. So I get a, uh, first off, get an email saying, can you send a file? I'd already sent it. So this time I sent it again. When he gets it, we're talking over the phone today, and he says, okay, there's five big pieces and the little pieces. And I said, yeah. And I said, well, I'll send you another one. And I had to alter it because by a miraculous uh, coincidence, the magnets that uh, have arrived uh, 30 mil by 10 mil. Much more powerful. All right, so <clears throat> I said, no, there's only four in it. And he said, no. So he then ships me up this, and this is what he got. If you go from that point to that point, it is one, no, it is 313.4 millimetres. Okay, I've got to reboot and make it work. <clears throat> but I'm in the middle of a ripping yarn here. So, I then... sent it again. Again, I've taken this file, saved it to desktop, well, after I altered it, that one there, not that one, another similar to that one. Very similar. That's an earlier one. This is one that I sent to, um, to Grant. This is a very good idea, this one. Uh, if you made it a big one. Whoa. Okay, so we're heading for the This one is probably the ultimate um,
Maybe do that three meters across. This would be a hundred mil by twenty mil, twenty five mil in acrylic, maybe one inch acrylic. And you demonstrate over unity. Now, what I had proposed was you take from there up to there with a tiny bleed off hole that would run into a series of teeth designed to Capture the air. There's something like that. So basically, what you want to do is And you have rows of those. Cut into the surface of the 10 mil thick plastic. Actually, right, copy that. Go down there. And the amount of air that comes out, compressed by the magnets, and I'll show you that now. Okay. So this is open, open, open. A pocket. So you've got the outside of the blade there, which holds this all together. And the other side, but this has been machined up, so you've got little cavities. And that under high pressure, now how the pressure is going to come about from that little hole, go to here, All right now we've got neodymium magnets, they're very, very tough. You can get them to um, a huge amount. So we'll just say, as it's been compressed into there, all this air that is in front of it from this point onwards is 
is compressing. Something like that. And it is pushing air out through there. Then you have a secondary one doing the same thing here. So there's one exhaust, just one consumes more. But behind this is four up to eight compressing one on the other. Let's say it's designed in this case three. That is going to go past there and here it's going to be repelled or attract it when it's in that position costs nothing it's pulling it in helps you it's a win-win and this one comes ripping into here attracted to it to compress the gas here where you could have another outlet straight up this time a tiny one Super high pressure. A bit like that. This, of course, uh, is compression that moves into there. This air trapped between these two exits through there. This then still pushes more air into here. After all, this is now equalised. So we've got an atmosphere pushing, compressing that again to that point, followed by finally this one here pushes it right through there and past. So that becomes an open valve from that point there. Now, all that has to be in the actual physical design of it is uh, a line drawn across there with a Rimmel tool, any shape you like. And then you um, tighten it down with the acrylic. Or you drill straight through into it there and there, edgewise, you got six mils to play with. So, there you go. So, as we begin to spin. These are alternators. And they're driven by a gearless neodymium magnet setup. Like so. So that's the north and that's south, not the north and that's the south so far. No way around. North, south, north, south. So that's north, that's the south, that's the north, that's the south, that's the north. So it's intermeshing uh, waves of magnetic fields. Now at that point there <coughs> you can put electrical coils of wire to pick that, that interaction of those magnets as it's turning this power here. <coughs> this power is delivered by a 25 mil shaft which is clear acrylic on bearings that are made out of acrylic. So now I'll go show you the bearing. It's costing you $100 for 
for each one, basically. So we make up bearings. I don't like this. This is out of acrylic. Now, this is the back part. You want to be able to see through there anyhow because uh, you want to see the workings of the magnets. And these will line up miraculously. However, when they're cut like so, you've got 6 mil and 25 mil centre. And the outside is, uh, you want to find out that. And you can make it any size you want. But 75 mil. Here's another one here. It could be a spacer between that and that. Because you want to get more length of the bearing on the, along the pipe. Now, I should also add that along the pipe itself, Now, what you're going to do is put a uh, spiral down it. This should be working. There we go. So you're going to have to spiral around it like that which will be your um, channel for oil. You will lubricate it with something. And then as you're turning it, <clears throat> these bearings of course have been lubricated by this uh, as it's turning. So that's your after delivering power. And of course, you um, just channel the ends. Just exaggerated a bit. And that becomes a little reservoir, so you could do several of those also along the body of, of the um, plastic. And last forever because the uh, dynamics of it is this little deal here. Right, now that point there, let's go straight across. See how slow the computer's running, it's painful. That's what they do to try and stop us, you see. So we do a 180 all the time. What we're going to do is take this across the other side, if it cooperates. That lines up with that one. The other ones, however, can rotate. So let's take a slice of this. We're going to take it over to the other side. So we copy it, paste it. And we're going to grab it. That's the target.
Wait for it to line up. Paste it again. Now we got two of them. So I get to here. We line up that there. Let me highlight it. This becomes the focal fulcrum point of the circular point. And you'll notice when we move the bearing, we can tighten it up. Any point. These are eight melts. Now, where we use that, <clears throat> so you get bearings for free. That's the point. We're using that there. These are magnetic gears. That's the North Pole, South Pole, North Pole, South Pole. <clears throat> so if that's the North, that's the South. North, South, so as this goes past in that direction, it is turning that magnetically so you can put the power on or off by bringing that up, down or back. And that's an alternator. Now at that point there, where all this interaction is taking place, these are bouncing back and forth and all sorts of stuff's going on. What happens is <clears throat> you've got a gigantic uh, scramble of uh, EMF that you can put coils on top of that and you can tap that energy. Right. In turn, you put that energy back in, because that's waste, you put the energy back into firing magnetic coils to push these around. So you've got free energy, compounding free energy. But the most spectacular thing is what I was saying before, <coughs> is you've got these, and I'll just borrow them from here, are coming around and they are exactly the shape and um, precision magnets. They're uh, the magnets that um, are ferrite. So you have to imagine at this point these are two magnets, one after the other. Well, let's just draw it for I gotta say. Okay, that's a ferrite. Now, that's a ferrite, exactly square, 10 mil deep, or whatever you want, perfectly cut. And that one is the very, very hard, tremendously powerful uh, neodymiums. You get them up to 60 now, strength. It's huge, very dangerous. Put them together, and they, of course, uh, form a bar magnet and they roll and slide along. Now, this is compressing the air in here. So as the air is being compressed, you've got to have a little line coming out of it with a little tiny hole coming up like that. And from that point onwards, as this is moving along, there's all these little saw teeth all around, along here which this is giving this high pressure air into that. And there's a secondary one. This is um, extremely fine. Right? So imagine these little things have got a cavity for the air to hit. So what's it going to do? Let's draw a cavity to give you some idea. You might have a sawtooth, something like that. Now this you can do in a laser. You draw it in, you go bingo, and she's cut. That's how easy it is. You don't have to use it. But that's what I will put into the bigger one. And this hole here there would be drilled in because this when we go to the bigger ones it would be 25 mils thick or whatever the thickness of the 
material we can get. You've got to be able to see it working. So we'll drill down through here with a, a long drill. And then that will fill these cavities all the way around as it hits it. So you end up with a, a cavity. Look at that. Then another one goes off the other direction. So you select it. copy it and paste it and then you're going to build yourself a uh, series of of little holes that is exactly the same as the volume of air that's going to be pushed out by the and when you get to a situation like this good night love <coughs> you bring that down. That's your that's your uh, full crumbles. You bring it down like that. And you got yourself a couple of teeth <coughs> that this super high pressure air. We're coming out of now. This, if you was going to do it with this particular type of machine, you probably have to build it out of stainless steel or something to give it the to be able to drill in there with a, a laser. <coughs> and uh, there's a possibility when you drill the laser, you can come in from different angles. So you go through the 45, and you go through it another 45. So you do all sorts of magic. There's a stone uh, in Egypt that no one talks about and uh, it was actually on um, watching it last night. It was Nasser Harriman talking about the uh, wonder how many views King Harry's happy birthday got got And the mayor of the Hatter Award goes to. I didn't even say it right. <laughs>